Hello class and welcome to Talos of Tech. This isn't a class. School sucks. Don't think you're in school. This is YouTube. Dang it. We're supposed to have fun. Sorry. Uh, what am I doing? Oh yeah. Today we're unboxing the Moto X Pure Edition. Why did I get this phone? Well, here's the answer to that question. I did not. My cousin, cousin Matt will be on this channel later to talk about it, but he was gracious enough to say, hey, I know you do tech videos. Go ahead and unbox my beautiful new phone. And even though it runs Android, <laughs> It is very highly reviewed, and I've never really tested a Moto product, Motorola, and there's lots of them, so I have no reason to hate them, and I have no reason to like them either. So let's get into my first impressions of this thing. I actually have no clue what it looks like, so I'm very excited for this kind of mystery unboxing. We'll be reviewing it later, except this is not a phone I'll be testing, because we all know what happens when I review an Android phone. Rev the response is basically the same, so let's get it open. I'm gonna try my very best not to break this because it's not my phone, so if anything bad happens well whoops nah i'm just kidding okay plastic first you guys check out my cool marine knife i'm not in the marines but the marines make knives i'm not going to be i'm gonna be making videos so this had a four and a half star rating on amazon so it's a pretty good phone and it's actually pretty affordable starting at around 300 dollars, i think pretty decent and highly reviewed it's worth a shot i know there's a moto z now that has the modules and stuff but i i don't um I don't care. Okay, so we got the plastic off. Let's see how you, oh, okay. Looks like Drew is having another challenging moment. There's little tape stuff on the sides. This box is a little crushed actually. It wasn't my fault. Actually still need the knife. Come on. Oh, I did it wrong. Oh, there's a, there's a light tape on this side. Hold on guys. I'm smart. I'm gonna figure this out. Okay, now it should open like this. Could this be it everyone? Could this be it? <gasps> Goodness. It's made of wood? That. That is so cool! Look at that! Okay, I don't care what's in this. I'm going for this first. What? Look at the design! It's white on the front! Bamboo on a phone! That's real, too! That's not some plastic crap. There's even a microphone port on the back. Oh my gosh. It's a bamboo back, guys, with white on the front and the Motorola logo. Oh my goodness. This is pretty. This is very pretty. It does have that problem the Nexus has with the button placements that I don't like. But you guys didn't mind that anyway. Okay, wow. There's the SIM tray, I think. I guess the specs on this thing are pretty amazing. 21 megapixel camera, which is like, wow. Okay, here's the SIM needle whatever thing. Let me get a, get through this real quick. Okay, that's instructions. Hey, I should give them a shout out. Sustainably sourced. This says, your Motorola smartphone contains genuine Genuine wood from sustainable sources. The wood grain contains unique variations that make each device distinctive. To keep your smartphone looking beautiful, gently wipe the wood surface clean with a soft cloth. Oh my goodness. So they legally cut down trees, that's nice. And the wood back of every phone is different. How cool is that? Jeez. I've heard of wood on phones. I just never, I've never seen one in person before. That's amazing. Okay, and what's in here? We got more stuff, oh good. Oh wow, it came with a little bumper case. Well, that's neat. It's nice that it comes with it. And then here's a nice big charging pack. And I read it supports fast charging, although I don't think that's USB type C. That's just micro USB. Okay, I'm gonna peel off the, oh. Oh, goodness. Okay, it was really anticlimactic when we took the screen off the Surface Pro 4. So this one, I'm gonna make worth it. Here we go, everyone. Woo! That's amazing. Nice! No, I'm kidding. That would be so mean, and I would never forgive myself. I would buy him a new phone. What phone should I buy my cousin if I decide to destroy this? You could hear that one, too. That actually had a peeling sound to it. Okay, so that button lines up perfectly. I'm actually not sure what that button does. Oh, it's not a button at all, Drew, you idiot. At least there's no fingerprint sensor. That's nice, because I don't need one. The headphone jack is on the top in the middle, which is... Interesting. I've never seen that before. Okay, so let's boot it up. Get this crap out of the way. I'm gonna hold power. Oh, wow. That display is crisp. I think it's quad HD. Buzz. It buzz. And it doesn't have the um, multitasking and back buttons. It just has two dots, which is probably really smart because that means you can customize it in the settings, which one you want. That was pretty smart. Android is starting. And this also has two front facing speakers, I can tell. That's real neat. And now it's gonna go wanna go through its walkthrough process, which I actually shouldn't do because this isn't my phone. But we're gonna have Matt on the show and we're gonna talk about the Moto X Pure Edition, which is looking amazing. Just look at that. It's a beautiful design. So don't get it near fire. I guess and thanks for watching my unboxing of the Moto X pure edition. We'll see you in time if it's worth the upgrade It probably is
guys, it's so cheap for what you get. 5.7 inch display, jeez. This is your Apple Sheep here, ironically. And I will see you in the next one.